Hi, my name is Dylan Parry, GP, and this is a quick video showing you how to create an offline test request form in Emis Web and then send a link to the patient uh, to download it uh, using AccuRx. Obviously, the caveat is that this is not the ideal uh, means of uh, doing test request forms, uh, and uh, many of us are now having to revert to the old fashioned way of doing things uh, in order to help uh, with coronavirus uh, and uh, not having patients um, travel to the surgery unnecessarily just to collect uh, test request forms. I appreciate that some surgeries will have their own bespoke uh, offline test request methods uh, and some others will be using um, EMIS's inbuilt offline test request forms. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is obviously related to our surgery. So uh, we go into the consultation as usual and uh, link what we're doing to um, an active problem heading. Go to test request and offline test request. Choose the, uh, the test that we require. Now in our case, uh, we use uh, the F12 protocol to launch um, a protocol that then loads the forms uh, for us to print off um, to request the tests. Normally we'd uh, use these just for test requests that are, are unavailable uh, through the electronic test requesting with a local lab. So usually we'd print this off, but uh, in this case uh, we go to uh, the uh, printer settings and it's important to choose uh, print to PDF. This uh, request form can then be filed away in a specific folder for test requests uh, during the COVID outbreak uh, and uh, to keep them backed up just in case they're, they're needed for some reason. In this case, uh, we'd use a, an EMIS identifier uh, to label the file. Then close that form. Now we're ready to, to go to AccuRx. So you'd uh, enter the patient's number if it's not self-populating. You can see here that uh, the patient has both uh, declined and consented for text requesting in the past. You can either use a, a template to send out to the patient or just uh, write a bespoke um, one-off message as I'm doing here. And then you go to attach the file from your specified folder. and then press send. So this is just clarifying that you've got the correct patient uh, given that you're sending out sensitive um, details. And then you can see that it's already self-populated uh, into EMIS. So if we close the consultation, you should be able to see the information self-populated. So that's it from the EMIS web and uh, AccuRx point of view. Now on the patient side, they'll get a text that looks something like this with a link that they can click to download the test request form. So they need to verify their date of birth before they can do that. So once they've done that, they click continue uh, and then download the file, which then opens up in a PDF viewer. And then they can print off uh, the test request form and take it to the uh, local path lab. I hope you found this video useful and thank you for watching.